What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy and you're watching Warful Smarts. So this week's video folks, we are checking out the Jungle Carpet Python Clutch. They're all shut out, they're looking great, they're eating, and uh, they're getting pretty well established. So we're going to go through, show you guys the babies that are still here. Some of them did leave pretty much right away with people that knew what they were doing with them, so I had no problem you know, letting them get them established since that's what they had wanted to do anyway. But everything else is still here. And I wanted to, you know, show them off. Can't tell what Xander's doing, but I wanted to show them off before they did, you know, start disappearing to their new homes because this is actually the day before the Gettysburg Reptile Expo. And there is one of them that's going to be disappearing at the show. So I wanted to get this update done. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys want to see what these babies look like right now. And then you can follow the journey of how they color up and all that good stuff. But before we get into this week's video, folks, I need you guys to do me two favors, please. One, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit the like button, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of these babies. And uh, some of you that are probably watching this video did get one or purchased one. So uh, let me know if uh, you guys, how excited you are to get your baby jungle carpet. And the second thing is we got to thank the sponsors of this week's episode. Are you ready for a force to be reckoned with? Check out Triforce Morse. They've been in the game for 10 years. They're working in the Citron Clown Pied Project along with Ghost Clowns, Ghost Pieds, The Matter Project, and Lace. That's right, folks. Lace. Everybody loves Lace. And to top it off, they're also working with Crested Geckos as well. So make sure you check out Triforce Morse. They are a force to be reckoned with. Make sure you check out Nathan at Infinite Possible Pythons. He's working some killer ball python projects along with some other species of reptiles as well. He's also a one-stop shop for all of your branding needs. So check out all of his information in the description down below and hit him up. Make sure you check out Chris at BNS Reptilia. If you're looking for a ball python, boa, colubrid, blood python, he is the guy to go to. He's also a rat breeder on the eastern side of PA, and he is Pennsylvania's distributor of Cocoa to Go and the Chipper, which is by far the best cocoa substrate on the market today. So make sure you go ahead and check them out. If you're looking to get into a high-end boa project, look no further than mint boas. Tim is working some awesome boa genetics. If you're looking for bloods, European sharp line, IMG, or the amazing red dragons, Tim is the guy to go to. He's also working some other beautiful and amazing boa projects. So check him out and let him know I sent you. Thank you everybody for sponsoring this week's episode. I greatly appreciate it. So let's go over and show off the parents to these awesome hatchlings first. Now, as you can tell, I don't know where he's at, but this is the sire, if I could get him off, which is Xander, which used to be known as Xena. But he is the sire to this clutch, and a lot of the babies look very, very similar with all the tipping and stuff that they, looks like that they are gonna have. So uh, this is dad, he's still got, he's just brilliant yellows. I mean, absolutely gorgeous animal. Probably one of the nicest jungle carpets I've seen. So, uh, obviously, I was happy to have him sire the clutch. Get some of that. Yeah. So, Xander here was the sire of the clutch. Now, let's go ahead and show off the mom. I do want to, want to point out, though, Xander's about six foot long, so he's a pretty big, you know, decent-sized male for a jungle carpet. But uh, just beautiful animal. Absolutely gorgeous. So, we'll let him get back into his enclosure. Shout out to my brother, Ed, for uh, building me these awesome enclosures for the carpets. I'll go ahead here and get mom out quick. Now here is mom. This is Lagatha. She's about, right now at this point, she's four years old, roughly. Maybe three and a half, four. She's in that neck of the woods. Uh, she's probably closer to four right now, though. So uh, she's putting back on some, some of her size that she lost from, you know, laying the clutch and everything. She is a little bit dirtier on the dorsal and everything. But I think that adds to a really unique look. Because um, I am going to be working on a project to help eliminate some of these yellows and try to make an all black jungle carpet. Or at least something that has very minimal yellow to it at that. 
but she is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful putting on size. So hopefully we can get another clutch from her uh, for the 2024 season. I do want to make note though, you guys see how big she is at being four. Xander's about five. So, uh, you know, th there is a little bit of a size difference. Surprisingly, Xander's the bigger one. Um, but anyway, just wanted to take a minute to show mom off as well. So that way you guys can see what, you know, the parents look like. So you can judge kind of what these babies are going to start looking like as they mature and get older. All right, let's go ahead and check out these awesome hatchlings because most of them, actually all of them but one, are spoken for. So this one is going to, oh, this one here is going to Kike from Bosa Reptiles, everybody. Everybody knows Kike. But Kike, here's your boy. Beautiful, beautiful male. Should have some really awesome tipping going on, as you can see going on up in here. Just very nice little hatchling. Not very, not, it's not been, he's not being nippy right now. Most of these guys actually aren't really nippy, to be honest with you. They're norm, pretty much all pretty chill. I'll see if, oh, he ain't gonna wanna, eh, maybe he will. Yeah, they like to climb too much. Just awesome, awesome baby. I should end up having some really nice yellows. So Kike, again, this is yours, bro. <laughs> they just don't like going back in. All right, next up. Got this awesome dude, which this is Greg's from Ripping Reptiles. And this dude's gonna have some awesome, awesome yellows. I can just already tell he's a little feisty too, so if he strikes at you, Dom, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> but he's gonna have some awesome yellows just because he's got some really bright silvers already on him. So Greg picked out an absolute stunner. Pretty awesome head pattern too. I don't know if you can get it on there since he's kind of... It's better already keeps going over. Yeah. But just awesome male. Really pretty pattern. He's gonna, he should have some nice tipping as well. But I think this dude's really going to have some bright yellows. Very, very bright yellows. All right, we're going to save my holdbacks for last. Just... We're going to save my whole bags for last, just that way you guys watch the rest of the video. Next up is, this is sold to Giovanni. So Giovanni, if you are watching this dude, this is your stunner. He's kind of got a really cool little face on his head. I, was, I don't know, I see like a cat. Like the eyes and then the nose with two whiskers and uh, maybe I'm just really weird. I always try to find something, but he's, he's already getting some nice looking tipping going on. Beautiful, beautiful snake. This is why I, this is why I just love jungle carpets, everybody. These things are just, there's not one of these that looks remotely alike. This one's also got some really nice neck striping going on. They're on the sides to start. Just absolutely beautiful snake. And as you can tell everybody, they're pretty much all really mellow. Well, 
that's my hold back. All right, this one I'm excited to really show off. This one here, this one here is my sister Angie's carpet. This is Jack Daniels, as she named him. And I will show you exactly why here in a minute. You just calm down. If you notice, hold on, hold on. If you look at it there, he's got a number seven, everybody. So Angie did me proud, named him Jack Daniels after old number seven. But he's, this guy's gonna have some beautiful tipping. Beautiful, beautiful tipping already coming in, as you can see there. Really beautiful pattern, almost a full dorsal stripe as well. Just beautiful, beautiful snake. So happy to uh, be sending this to her. It was really awesome to get to watch her pick him out as well. But there again, super friendly, everybody. Which is absolutely beautiful jungle carpet. So Angie, there is JD himself, and soon he will be with you, sister. Next up is my buddy Sean from Pot and Joy. It is beautiful. This is a female, actually. This is the only female. Actually, no, this isn't the only female I left go, but this is one of the females I left go. She's a little on the feistier side. Uh, uh, she is a super nippy. But she's a little bit more defensive. You can see there she's going to have some beautiful tipping on the side there if you go down the... She's just very inquisitive. She's kind of wrapped up really nice on this netting, so I'm not going to try to eat, untwist her from it. But beautiful girl. She's also got another another nice dorsal stripe going on. I'm sorry, Dom. But just a beautiful snake. For the most part, all these guys are eating really well, too. Um, there's only two of them that are being a pain in the neck. To get to eat. And those two are sadly Greg's. Uh, for whatever reason, he he's kind of feisty sometimes, but he just, I don't know, he acts interested, he just doesn't commit. And then this little dude, which I thought was a female, but is very much a male. But this was going to be my holdback if it would have been a female. And originally I was only going to hold one back. Ended up holding two back just for myself. But this was going to be a third. But then it ended up popping peens on me. So it, I just kind of, it's like, you know what? I don't want to hold back two males. But this thing was has some awesome tipping going on with it already. Really cool head pattern. Almost like dad's. And this, this guy, he's he's actually really shy for whatever reason. I don't know why. He's just really shy. Really likes to hold on to you really tight, too. Like there, he's got a good squeeze on me. Beautiful baby jungle. And this is, everybody, at the time of filming this, this is July, what is today, Donald? 13th. 13th? Yeah, it's July, this is July 13th, so, you know, we're two days before the Gettysburg Reptile Expo. But this is the only carpet out of this whole clutch that's available. So, uh, if you are interested, let me know, because... Uh, and honestly, I'll be surprised if he's not taken by the time this video comes out. But on top of it, uh, just these babies have been just kind of going like they've been flying off the shelves. All right. Now, uh, here we go. 
Now this is the moment you've been waiting for. If you want to use the best reptile record keeping and tracking software on the market today, scan the QR code or click our partnership link in the description down below for a free 30-day trial of Husbandry Pro. I promise you, you will not regret it. This is my holdback female. This is the one that she had a lot of nice blacks to her. She's got some tipping going on here on the sides. She's got a really kind of just a really random pattern not a not a lot of consistent striping just a lot of lines and dots and so I want to see if I can't line breed and try to create an all black jungle carpet as the years go on just kind of try to you have one project, you know, to work those beautiful black and yellows and then have another project just to try to phase out all that yellow and make a really nice velvety black snake. Because carpets have some of the really, you know, in my opinion, some of the coolest blacks because they're almost like velvety. This is my hold back female. And probably, in my opinion, the coolest one in the clutch, which is why he, I ended up deciding to keep a male out of this, is this dude. He's got a, just a very random pattern to him. Some really nice blacks to him. Like I said, very random. It's not even like really a whole lot of striping going on. It's a lot of... Doesn't have a whole lot of yellows on him or big yellow areas. He might have some yellow, some tipping going on as he's climbing all over the camera and all that stuff. But I messed the camera up. All right, so we had to restart here because this guy screwed the camera up when he crawled on it. But he's gonna have not as much like solid yellow, but I think he's gonna have a lot of tipping going on. But there again, I want to try to see if I can't breed out the big yellow bands and just kind of make either an all black snake or even something where it's just all tipping. It'd be really cool. I don't know if it's possible, but hey, why not try? Something new to do. But this dude's absolutely just gorgeous. And he eats like a pig too. <laughs> so, and for once, you know, as you could tell, all the babies were really nice. But this, like the, my two holdbacks, never had an attitude at all to them at all. And I've been I've been working with each and every one of them for pretty well. So, uh, hopefully, that's kind of showing through with how they act too. All right, everybody, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys really enjoyed checking out this awesome clutch. This was clutch number three of the season but our first jungle carpet python clutch ever. Uh, these guys are just truly amazing at snakes. I mean, they're, bold pythons are awesome, but these guys are a whole different ball game, a whole different experience. Um, I think it's a little bit more rewarding to work with these guys than it is with the bald pythons. Just my personal opinion, don't hold it against me, but they're really awesome. So uh, greatly appreciate all the love and support everybody. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit the like button, and uh, leave me a comment down below, please. Greatly appreciate it. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and everything. I am going to be doing a uh, video on just kind of like how to work with hatchlings, kind of calm them down, get them out of that feisty, nippy stage there in the beginning. And uh, just, you know, for anybody that does decide to breed them, it might be helpful in the future. So uh, stay tuned for our for our Carpet Python series that I have here on the channel because I will be adding to that here in the near future. And uh, make sure you guys don't forget to check out our sponsors in this week's episode. Also check out Redline Shipping and use this code ROBIN60 for 60% off of two shippings. And don't forget, check out Husbandry Pro. Click our affiliate link in the description down below. Free 30-day trial of the best reptile record keeping and tracking software on the market. That's going to be it for this week's video, folks. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. 
I enjoyed showing these babies off because, I mean, they're stunning, they're beautiful, and they literally flew off the shelf uh, faster than I could ever imagine. And uh, it's kind of sick because I was hoping to get to enjoy them for a little bit, but at the same token, it's really nice to see that people want these snakes considering they're one of, probably one of the most misunderstood species of pythons out there to keep. But uh, catch you next time, everybody. Later.